real means of their increase in power and interest banking, which is otherwise it's forbidden in every, every religion, even Buddhism. Is controlled by the all seeing Eileen. The moral compass to the side deal. What the underworld you learn why? This guy's worship the serpent just to fry. Where fashion and trends are all you care about. Sitting in the seat of a being that really care about. Cause when this life is, what will you hear about? Five seconds, don't stress the here and now. Shopping bags with things you can't afford. And I'm charging on your card, your statement's exorbitant. I'm describing what the word morbid is. And kids cry in sweatshops and torture it in. Temporary high, your jeans are fly. The cream that matches to your greenest jacket. Who cares how you have them seams crafted? See how they got you worshiping this fashion. Think it's romantic? No, you in the rabbit hole. And there's no fold that ain't captured. And don't forget to promptly pay taxes, directly finance, and all of the bombs blasting. This is tragic, they doing magic. Right in your face, Kabbalah is pragmatic. Phase three, hopefully this catches your attention. Let's wake up the masses. Since we all inhabit the earth, all of us are considered earthlings. There is no sexism, no racism, or speciesism in the term earthling. It encompasses each and every one of us, warm or cold-blooded, mammal, vertebrae or invertebrae, bird, reptile, amphibian, fish and human alike. Humans therefore, being not the only species on the planet, share this world with millions of other living creatures as we all evolve here together. However, it is the human earthling who tends to dominate the earth, oftentimes treating other fellow earthlings and living beings as mere objects. This is what is meant by speciesism. By analogy with racism and sexism, the term speciesism is a prejudice or attitude of bias in favor of the interest of members of one's own species and against those of members of other species. Over 100 million wild animals are murdered for their pelts every year. 25 million in the United States alone. These animals, obtained by hunting and trapping, are kept on fur farms in conditions like these. Naturally, these undomesticated, wild animals are not accustomed to being caged. And cage madness develops when frightened and frustrated animals are driven crazy from the stress of confinement. These wild, free-roaming animals and their offspring find themselves unable to live a natural life, can never take even a few steps or feel the earth beneath their feet. Instead, they are reduced to scratching, circling, and pacing endlessly. The physical injuries these animals endure on fur farms 
involve broken and exposed bones. Blindness. Ear infections. Dehydration and malnutrition. Exposure to freezing temperatures. Lack of veterinary care. And slow death. No laws indicate the killing of animals on fur farms. Therefore, the least expensive methods are the most appealing. Carbon monoxide poisoning, strychnine, suffocation, breaking the neck, and anal electrocution are some of the more common methods used. Removed from his or her cage with a heavy neck pole, the animals walk past the rows of bodies of slaughtered foxes, sables, raccoons, and wolves, among others. Death by anal electrocution is a crude process that requires a probe to be inserted in the rectum while the animal bites down on a metal conductor. Oftentimes, this inept procedure must be repeated to actually kill the animal. And the skin carcasses seen here will later be ground up and fed to the animals still caged. Think about whether or not this is really for you. If you decide it isn't, listen, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's not for everyone. <clears throat> Thanks.